Hi guys, Shelley Fitzgerald with So Shelly Quilts. I want to combine four designs in this hoop to stitch out at one time. And I want to do cut some color optimization of those designs so that um, when I do stitch those, uh, I don't have so many thread changes. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the website here. I'm stitching these adorable little finger puppets. There's ten of them. And I have little twin grandsons, so I need uh, 20 finger puppets. I need two of each style for their little Easter baskets. I've stitched a few already. These are adorable. These are um, OESD 12394. I'll put a link under this video. Fabulous. Uh, when you go to OESD, remember to go to your Bernina dealer's website and access embroidery online through their website that way they get credit for the sale the cost to you doesn't change um, it just really supports that small business owner to do it like that so anyway this is what i'm playing with today and i just thought you might want to see i'm going to go back to my software i'm going to go into my embroidery library and I have added some folders to my embroidery library just by clicking add folder to library and then you can go through and all the folders that you keep designs in you can add to the embroidery library and then you can access your designs right here and see them they're easy to work with now the designs I want to work with right now are the bunny and the um, raccoon and I've put a check mark on both it was still there from when I was here a minute ago and so I'm just going to say um, new from selected and it's going to open a design for each of those okay so there is the raccoon and there is the um, bunny if I had said um, let's go back in here and if those they're still selected if I had said open selected when those came in it would have opened the actual file and any changes I made would have changed the actual design file so let me just show you that so I'll say open selected and see it comes in with the actual design name on the top so if I did that and actually accidentally saved something I would be saving over the original file so i'm just not going to fool with that i wanted new from selected so they came in as design four design five here's the bunny it didn't come in grouped and there are limited colors available so um, i'm going to put two raccoons the same thing here it's not grouped and there's limited colors I want two raccoons and two bunnies in one hoop so that I can be more efficient with my stitching out of these 20 little puppets. Okay, so I happen to know for a fact that on this bunny, the flower and the ears are the same pink. That's fine with me, and the little nose. But, and that pink color is uh, 2520. 2520. In this other design, there's a little pink flower, and it's also noted as 2520. Now, it doesn't matter ultimately because you put whatever color thread you want in, but when I combine all these designs, I want the machine to stop in between the two raccoon flowers and the two bunny flowers. So just know that that's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to change the color of this bunny uh, raccoon pink flower. I'll select it right here because the design is not grouped. So I need to select all of the pieces. If I came over here, I would just get one little piece at a time. So if your color film is not open, you come to the top and there's that color piece of film. And you open the color film and then make sure your push pen is up and down. So I'm going to come over here in the color film and choose the pink flower on the raccoon. And 
I don't have any extra colors, so I'm just going to hit the plus, add palette colors. This is just putting more crayons out on my crayon box. So I just add a few there, what the heck. And I'm going to make that flower number 12. It doesn't matter which color, that's just putting a, a stop on the machine. Now, this number three is 3830. If I go look on the little bunny, number three is also 3830. And so when I combined those designs, it would have combined those, and I don't want that either. It'll all, I promise at the end, this will all make sense. But I want the machine to sew two flowers on the raccoon and then stop. I don't want the flowers on the raccoon and the bunnies to be the same. So this number three color, the blue flower, since it's the same as on the bunny, I'm going to just come in and make it. I don't want to use black because they've already used black. I'm going to come over here and use 17. And so that's got its own color number. Okay. So now I'm going, I've changed the color. The raccoon now has um, two different colors and they're not going to be the same. So I'm going to combine or group this entire raccoon. I'm going to say control A on my keyboard and it all turned pink. Now I'm going to right click with my mouse and select group. Okay, so now that raccoon is going to be um, all as one. I can't move the little parts. I'm going to come over to the bunny and just to do it different so that you know there's different ways, I'm going to come up and say um, uh, arrange. Come over here to arrange. Uh, I'm going to hit control A and here is that same group icon. So same thing as if I had hit the right um, of the keyboard or not. Uh, actually, edit, you can also select all from the drop down instead of hitting control A. So you have different options. So now that this bunny is grouped, I'll just touch it. The whole thing is selected and I'm going to copy the bunny and I'm going to go over to this same screen and I'm going to scroll back a little bit with my mouse. That's the roll in between my left and right mouse and hit paste. So now I have a raccoon and a bunny. And no matter where I move those, the hoop jumps until they're both kind of centered in the hoop. And I don't want that. So I'm going to come up to my hoop, show hoop icon up here and right click. And I'm going to change from automatic centering at start needle position to manual. And I'm going to say OK. And now, no matter where I put something, it's going to stay put. Okay. So first, there's a couple of ways to get our second bunny and our second raccoon. The first way, while the bunny is highlighted, I could come to the top and I'm going to hit uh, copy. And then I'll hit paste and drag because it pasted it literally on top. So there is our second bunny. Um, another way I could do that would be to right click. I'm going to do that on the raccoon. I'm going to right click and hold the right click down and drag. And now I have two raccoons. So that's two ways to get a second raccoon. I could have, well, there's more, but that's two. So now while these are selected, the first raccoon, I'm going to hit uh, rotate left. And I'm going to move this one kind of out of the way and put this one near the top. Now see those crosshairs whenever I'm dragging it with my left mouse? I'm going to get it kind of to the center. Here's my next raccoon, and I'm going to rotate it right and nest these in kind of together. I don't want them, uh, I want them um, closer, I want more space in between the raccoons and the um, rabbits. So I'm going to grab this and rotate this 
to the uh, left and put it right here. And then this last one, I'm going to rotate right and put it right here. Let's uh, come up here to hoop and see the whole thing. I'm going to drag this last bunny down just a bit. Want plenty of room in between. I'm going to put one color of felt on this half of the hoop for the raccoons and another color on this half of the hoop for the, the bunnies. So I didn't want them evenly spaced. I wanted to leave plenty of room in between. And um, that way uh, I have room for those two separate pieces of felt. So I'm going to click off. Nothing is selected. And I'm going to this time let's go to edit select all and I'm still in my arrange menu and I can align the centers vertically didn't really matter it's just kind of neat and tidy to do that that way click off so that nothing is selected and so now I have lots and lots of colors so here's my color film and you'll see that in fact this is the second um, uh, you can tell the little raccoon is this one, right? So while they're grouped, I'm first I'm going to hit that, or no, excuse me, I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to hold my control key, select this one, select this one, select this one, and I'm going to say sequence by selected. Boom. And so now in my color film, the top one is first. So they're going to stitch top to bottom. Okay. So I did that first. And that just changed the order of the stitch out. That's a pretty cool trick to push things into the order selected. And now I don't want them to have to change my thread and stitch the entire first one and then the entire second one. I want them all to work out to be stitched all the same colors that can be. And I'm going to come up here to this word design, drop that menu down by left clicking, and choose optimize color changes. This is good stuff here. This is going to change the number of color changes from 41 to 15. Would I like to continue? Uh, yes, please. That means instead of changing my thread 41 times, I'm going to change my thread, rethread the machine 15 times. Okay. Boom. So there we go. Now look at my color film. The, um, the first color, let's see, I'll have to use my Alt key because everything's grouped. The first color is going to be the outline. That will be on the tearaway, heavyweight tearaway, or you could put cutaway. Either one, they're going to stay in the hoop. That's going to give me an outline of the little designs so I know where to lay the felt. Then it looks to me, let me hit Alt again. It's going to do the flowers on the raccoon. Then this second flower on the raccoon. Then the third flower on the raccoon. Then the flower centers on everything. The raccoons and the little bunnies. And I can just tell that. I'm going to make this really big. Look, it became a double arrow and I'm going to drag. And that way I can see more of what's going on in there. So look the three flowers per each raccoon and the two flowers on the bunny those have the same colors really doesn't matter but i want to show you that those could be changed still so if i zoom in even though i've optimized these colors i can oops let me zoom out a little bit more i can come in and select the yellow center I'm going to undo that. I tried to move it. So let's see. Alt key, yellow center. Control and Alt, 
yellow center. I'm going to scroll down, move over a little bit, and I'm still holding my Control and Alt. There's the center. There's the center. And I'll just come down and I'll make those another color that I haven't used. It looks like I haven't used 16. And so even though those were um, grouped in that color sequencing, they're now all by themselves. There's one, two, three, one, two, three. Those are in the raccoons. And here are the new colors. So if I didn't want the same yellow in the raccoon or the, um, I'm going to push zero on the keyboard so that we can see it all. So the way it was, even though I had used design optimized color changes and it put all those yellow centers in the same color, if I wanted the machine to stop so that I could use a different yellow, that's all I had to do was select them, change the colors, and the automatic sequencing, it even left them in line. It didn't put them to the end or anything like that. They're still in order. I could do the same if I didn't want the little leaves the same colors. Um, I could do the same thing. Uh, and I may do that just because I happen to know that I want a different green. So once again, Alt, Control, Alt. And I'm going to scroll out a little bit, over a little bit. There's another green leaf, a green leaf, a green leaf. And I'll choose another color. And so I'm going to push the number zero so that we see the whole thing. And you'll be able to see here that now the green leaves on the raccoons are separate from the green leaves on the bunnies. So I can choose new colors. So then here is some uh, white outline. Oops, let's see. Let's hit the Alt key. Sorry the white outline on the raccoon's face. Next is the black on the raccoon's face. Um, next is some white on the raccoon and the bunny. That's fine with me. Then there is the uh, eyes on the bunny and some outline on the bunny and the whole outline around the raccoon some ears and flowers, some more flowers, some leaves, some more leaves, some faces, and then the outline on the bunny. So that's cool. Since I changed all those colors, I'm going to come in to optimize design color changes again. Change it from 16 to 17. I'll say OK. And that's how you do that. So now I will just send that to the machine. And I have four designs in one hooping with the colors coordinated that can be coordinated so that it will stitch out really well in one hoop. So that's what I wanted you to see. This is Shelley Fitzgerald with So Shelley Quilts. Talk to you later.